guys, what's up? It's Zach and David here doing our first review on Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is an upcoming action adventure open world game being developed by Ubisoft. It is the sixth major installment in the Assassin's Creed series and a sequel to 2012's Assassin's Creed 3 and a prequel to its ancestral storyline. It is scheduled for an October 29th, 2013 release for North America, an October 31st, 2013 release in Australia, and a European release of November 1st, 2013 for Europe. It will be available for Microsoft Windows, the Wii U, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. A PlayStation 4 version is also in the works, but its release date has not been announced yet. I think they should stick it to, like, just regular PS3. Why would they bring it on to PS4 when they're already done developing most of the game? For PlayStation 3. Yeah, just, I don't know about that. It just makes no sense. Like, why would they just bring it on, like, to a later release date yeah. from what they already have? Because they already have they it released. Just make it for one PlayStation. Either the PlayStation 3 or the PlayStation Yeah, just because it's like, it's going to take them forever to make a PlayStation 4 since it's a new platform and everything. It just mm -hmm. makes no sense to me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see about that. <laughs> Alright, sounds pretty good. Alright, the game will feature three main cities, Havana, Kingston, and Nassau, which reside under Spanish, English, and pirate influence, respectively. <clears throat> the game will also feature 50 locations to to explore, with a 60 to 40 balance between land and naval exploration. Assassin's Creed 4 will have a more open world feel, with missions similar to those found in Assassin's Creed, as well as fewer restrictions for playing. Alright. So it looks like they're going to introduce some more naval yeah. stuff in the game. I just hope that you can like run around and do whatever you want on the boat, like you can go yeah. on the boat wherever you want. You don't have to do boat missions like yeah, that. Just like, okay, I'm gonna go do a boat mission now. I walk yeah. over. <laughs> Yay. Do the friggin' <laughs> terrible boat missions. It yeah. takes like a friggin' hour to do. Yeah. Whatever, I don't care. Just be just good. Let me do be whatever good. I want. Yeah, just be good this time, okay yeah. guys? Be good. Just make the game good. Cause I'm pretty ordering it. Yeah. Make it good. I don't want to <laughs> waste my money on it. Alright? Alright, the world opens up sooner in the game as well as opposed to Assassin's Creed 3, which had very scripted missions and <clears throat> did not give players freedom to explore until the game was very well into its first act. The player will encounter jungles, forts, mines, ruins, and small villages, and the world is being built to allow players much more freedom, such as allowing players to engage, board, and capture passing ships and swing to nearby beaches in a se seamless fashion. In addition, the hunting system has been brought back from Assassin's Creed 3, allowing the player to hunt on land and harpoon in the water. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. What do you think is what do you think is going to be available for harpooning in the water? I don't know. Maybe it'll like have like little upgrades for your harpoon, like yeah. you know how. Uh, we had different uh, assassin's blades and everything. We mm -hmm. had swords and different things. I think we're gonna have like different types of harpoons and things that you can buy. And maybe like cracked a holster from using a certain. That'd be interesting. Fish. I'd like to see that. Have like a little holster going up your side of the body. Yeah. With maybe like you can hunt sharks and use the shark skin or something. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what they come out with. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. A new aspect in the game is the ship player will captain, Jackdaw. The Jackdaw will be upgradable throughout the game, as well as having easy access to the ship when needed. In addition, a new underwater component is being added. The player will also have access to Spyglass. A Spyglass. A Spyglass. A Spyglass. A Spyglass. <laughs> Allowing the examination of distant ships along with their cargo and strength. It can also help determine if an island still has animals to hunt, treasures to find, or high points to reach for synchronization. An updated form of the recruit system introduced in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood will also return. Woo! 
<laughs> Got that out. All right. So that's, I think that sounds pretty good. I'm not sure about that because I didn't really go that much into uh, Brotherhood. I didn't really see that too much. I have never played Brotherhood. All I've, the only Assassin's Creed game I have played is Creed. I've played a little bit of two Assassin's Creed Two. Uh, I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was like I thought it was like the best so far when I played it. And then I played Assassin's Creed Three. I was like, whoa, that's awesome. The only thing that bothered me about like was how you had to wait and wait and do all these yeah sequences and missions. It took and, too long. Yeah, and it, it got boring. You had to wait till like sequence six, six yeah. to get your uniform. It's actually free roam. Yeah, because you had to do all these story missions. I yeah. hope they really do improve that for you. And the uh, recruit system, I know they had that in Assassin's Creed 3. I didn't really care about that too much. Yeah, I didn't really like that. It just makes no sense to me that much. I don't know. I didn't really use it, so. I don't really like the multiplayer in Assassin's Creed 3. I hope they like improve it so it's not as stupid as... It is stupid in Assassin's Creed 3. I'm mm. just going to say that's my opinion. You can say whatever you want. Maybe do like an... I know they have wolf, wolf Pack as a cooperative game mode in Assassin's Creed 3. Maybe they can make a new one, make it a little more fun. I All just right. hope it's not like really bad. Oh yeah, and by the way, the multiplayer has been confirmed to return. With the new settings and game modes, though will only be land based, so no C. That'd actually be interesting. I wish they actually did that. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Doing like boat battles and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go on to characters here, what's going on with the game a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, the main character of the game will be Enrude Kenway. A British pirate and member of the Assassin Order, father of Hathen Kenway and grandfather of Connor. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm just gonna say Connor. Yep. yep. <laughs> His real name is very confusing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright. It's just Connor. <laughs> Alright, Connor. The two playable characters of Assassin's Creed 3, real life individuals that will be encountered include the pirates, Edward Blackbeard, Teach, Benjamin Horingold, and Bonnie Jack Rackham, Rackham and Charles Vane. Some uh, pretty interesting names here. Yeah, it's just <laughs> a little bit uh, confusing. A little bit. <laughs> yep. So, what do you think about the new character you're coming with? I don't really understand why they're still going back with it. I just, I don't really like that aspect of the game, how it's going backwards. Yeah. It sounds like the pirates, I think one of us is going to be the main villain. Maybe the other ones are just there. They're just there. <laughs> They're just there. Alright. Okay. So, now we're going on to the plot of the game. Let's see what's going on here. As is the case in previous games in the Assassin's Creed series, the story is divided into two intertwined halves, with one in the present day, one in a historical setting, and the events of each influencing each other. Although the present day story had previously established that an animus was required to view one's ancestors' memories, the ending of Assassin's Creed 3 implies that Desmond's genetic memories have now been uploaded onto the ending on to the cloud. As such, the player character is hired by Abstergo Entertainment, a subsidiary of Abstergo Industries, <sighs> to investigate a pivotal movement in Desmond's ancestry, the assassin Edward Kenway, a notorious pirate and privateer operating during the golden age of piracy. Kenway's story is set in the Caribbean and mixes open-ended ship-based exploration with combat and land-based adventures and on a number of Caribbean islands. That was a mouthful, David. That was a mouthful. <laughs> that was a mouthful. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. A little bit of a technical difficulties going on. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, the Golden so, Age, I don't really know about that. Yeah. All I just history people out there. Leave a comment, tell yeah. us what it is. Please, Something seriously. about it. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's continue it's on. Quite a mouthful of a plot there. Yeah. Just there. Alright. 
side win. Alright. <clears throat> Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag will be released for PlayStation 3, PC, Xbox 360, and Wii U on October 29th in the US, October 31st in Australia, and November 1st in Europe. It was announced on March 1st, 2013, that the game will also come out on the PlayStation 4 and Microsoft next console. I just, no. No new consoles, no, please. No new just consoles. No. <laughs> I, I like my Xbox 360. No I just, new consoles. I just got my Slim. I don't want to pay another 200, 300 bucks for another console. Yeah, what's up with that? Especially if it's like a 3D console. I it's don't just, really like no. that. It's like... If it's a 720 like they've been talking about, it's a 720, I'm not going to go out selling all my games and selling my yeah. PlayStation, but PlayStation. Your PlayStation yes, games? Yes, my PlayStation games. You can play a... What's that new thing? You can play the PlayStation games on the Xbox. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so basically, I don't want to... Like, I hope we can play, like, you know how some uh, original um, Xbox games are compatible? Yeah, I hope it's you like can that. still play original Xbox games on Xbox 360. I hope it's like hope that with like the that. Hope it's like that, if not, just don't do it. Yeah, just <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Just no. Nope. 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 Alright, here we go. This is the controversies on the game. Alright. <clears throat> Animal rights organization people for the ethical treatment of animals. Peter. 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 Criticized Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag for the inclusion of whaling, saying that it is disgraceful for a video game to glorify whaling. Oh my god. Oh my oh god! Lordy lord! Lordy lord! Lord. <laughs> lord, lord. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> An official Peter statement read, whaling that is shooting whales with harpoons and leaving them to struggle for an hour or more before they die are hacked apart while they are still alive. It may seem like they something of about... Don't trust the bee. <laughs> they don't even know what to say. I got one thing to say. It's a video game. It's a video game. It's not real life. Okay, guys. It's not gonna it's... make me want to go on the boat. And I'm gonna go. A whale. I'm gonna go on a boat tonight because <laughs> I'm just thinking about this. I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna go on a boat, grab a harp, just, just chuck it at just, this whale. Do just, it. Just leave him there to die. Yeah, you know. Just, you know? You know just make him suffer. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh God. So, in response to this controversy, Ubisoft stated that they did not condone illegal whaling any more than they condoned a pirate lifestyle. An official uh, Ubisoft statement read, History is our playground in Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is a work of fiction that depicts the real events during the golden area of pirates. Go Ubisoft. Good job. Ubisoft. Good, good job. Don't trust beta. Seriously, it's it really is the events of this era. So yeah, I mean, they shouldn't really care. About it just it. I don't understand. <laughs> Who? Would, it's a friggin' video game. Jeez. So if they made this uh, game back in that era, they wouldn't care. No, they'd be like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, just if they had the technology. They'd yeah. Be like, mm, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. All right, guys. So, we're gonna... so that is our review on Assassin's Creed 4. Yep, gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. All that good stuff. Yes, please do subscribe. That'll help us out a lot. Yep. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.